Hi, I'm Meg. And I'm David. Welcome to The Average Vegans, a podcast to help you live an attainable vegan lifestyle. We're not the ripped influencer vegans you hear about in other podcasts. We're just some ordinary people living in the South, eating plants and loving animals. All right, so on today's episode, we are discussing our favorite vegan products on or at or around the Whole Foods. Because I said it wrong in the beginning, so we're going to go with it. So. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. I, or as some people call it, what is it, Whole Paycheck? Whole Paycheck, yeah, which yeah. is which can be kind of fair. It, absolutely fair. The, the CEO of, uh, of Whole Foods says that they base their prices on the surrounding area. They don't really, I mean, it's it's not... You know, we may, you may, what you may pay at one store if it's like a more affluent area, maybe higher than someone that's not, which that is, which may be true, but it's still like, mm, still kind of an asshole thing to do, yeah, in my high. opinion. But I mean, but people around here can afford it, so it's fine. Let's just jack up the prices. Yeah, it's a little, it's Rude. a little much, but they do have mm-hmm. some interesting stuff. That's why I only go to Whole Foods when I need something very specific, and that's what my list was. Uh, yes. It was like, if I want to, like, I need something, I go for that thing. I don't go, like, wee, come up with bags. <laughs> I do. Unless, Because I know, only go out. once in a while, because I don't live anywhere near a Whole Foods. It's, like, 30 minutes away. Yeah. That explains but your list, at least. my office is located near a Whole Foods, and mm. I have to go back there. So. That's the Whole Foods over where I used to live, too, I think. It's a good yeah, one. Yeah, it pretty is a good. really good it's one. Their bakery. Huge. Mm, oh, yeah, bro. Oh, my God. Wow. We will talk about that because there are certain sections of Whole Foods that just speak to my heart. Um, <laughs> I think the reason I like to go there, and I only go there very rarely, but when I do, it's like I try to get all the stuff. Um, again, because there's not one near me, but also because there hasn't been one near me for the majority of my life up until the last like three years, whole mm. foods was like so far away. There wasn't even the one that's 30 minutes from me in Kennesaw. That one's brand new. I mean, technically it's very, very new. Right. So before that, it would take me if I wanted to go to whole foods, like 45 minutes to an hour. So the only time I've ever been to one was if I went to Atlanta for some kind of event and I would stop there. So like, it's like a little vegan Mecca. There's like little hidden gems throughout the whole place. You just got to look very closely to find all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah, Especially if you're out and driving around and you need something like you need something to see some snacks or some drinks <laughs> or something that just kind of tied you over to get what you're going home. It's a great pie. That's where I go from like, all right, I need, you know, a bar and like a kombucha or, you know, something, some, something special to kind of like keep, keep my brain moving while I'm driving, you know, because <laughs> in Atlanta, every, everything's at least an hour. So yes, that's true. That's I just go to the Whole Foods. Cool. And I can go grab a drink or some snack or whatever there and, um, but actually, I used to go there for I used to go there for more of like again like the tasty t- taste sweet treats or snack stuff. Usually, what I go there for or anything else. I feel like Whole Foods is also a great place um, if you have a group of friends and you guys want to eat lunch but want to make it quick. You can go to the hot bar Ooh, and yeah. everybody can find something whether they're vegan or not vegan grab it go eat as you go you know or you can sit there there's lots of tables and stuff that's one of my favorite things is the the hot bar as i i call i don't know if that's what it's called a hot bar they have a hot bar and a cold bar yeah yes well well i mean yeah the salad bar is like insane i've never seen so many options it's crazy town but like the hot bar is a really great place to get um lots of options they usually at least the one in um marietta whatever in kennesaw they usually have quite a few options for vegans um my favorite being the chicken fried tofu bro that's i don't jam. know who made that i think they're i think you can google that i think their name is out there somewhere whoever invented that but... i pile that stuff man i get sick eating that mess right that's what's <laughs> on my list i was like so oh bad. my god it's my favorite i get like that and they had the vegan mac and cheese i'm like All right, oh dude, I'm he's fat just gonna day, say that Okay. And think about it, if you go to Whole Foods and you, and you go to the hot bar, and you're like, oh, this thing sucks. And like, and you go to another one because not all hot bars are created equal. That's very true. Because the thing is that their kitchens are different. They're also based their their what they make based on demographics. So if you're area where there's not a lot of vegans, then you're probably going to have less options. Where some like if you have a bigger Whole Foods, the one that has is more of an area where there 
typically is more beacons in the area. They'll have more more options there. So not so if you don't go if you go to one, it's not what you would want or expect. There, if you can find another one, you might actually um, you know score big, get that chicken fried tofu. And it's mm-hmm. called chicken fried tofu because of the spices. It's done like chicken fried yes. steak kind of thing. It's not real chicken. Yeah. No. Um, and they also have pizza. They have yes. great vegan pizza with all kinds of veggies on top. That's and during mean. lunch, I'll go there sometimes when I used to go to the office and they would pop out like a hot vegan pizza and nobody else wants it. So I'm like, it's mine. <laughs> I get the best slice out of the whole thing. Um, oh, yeah. Or their, is it TT? The um the tomato tempeh lettuce it's a TTLA TTLA because avocado yeah that's it yes yes um so tempeh tomato lettuce and avocado sandwich super super good yeah if you've never tried it you have to give it a shot for sure was it um Sandra Brown or her name was she's one who made that famous I think it's Tabitha 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 Brown Brown. yeah Tabitha Sandra she's the best. Yeah, she is the best. She made, yeah, she, she made that one. Uh, she, she she's a, she, she actually made her uh, her name like originally. Like she like blew, she she blew up when she did the review on. Yes. That. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how people found out about her, and now she has like her own brand of stuff. Like she's so like fancy. You love her though. You like, you like her I voice. I love her. I'm a big fan. All right, child. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> like, her yeah. voice is so soothing. I'm like, you could tell me anything, honey. Please, I love you. <laughs> can you, can you, can you imagine if she did audiobooks? Oh my God. Her family's really great too. Well, we're just going to hype her up for like a second here. Her family's really great. Her, her uh, daughter and her son and her husband are hysterical and they have a cute dog. I mean, seriously, I mean, it's can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. It's, it's, it's <laughs> and she's a fan of Whole Foods like we are. Right. Um, did you know that there's a clearance section? There's no. like a whole little, um, like a end cap kind of, not even an end cap. It's like a whole like a uh, thing, standing shelf thing. I don't know how to, what words, words aren't it's working. Okay. It's, I don't um, I'm with you. But it's right like um, at the end of the produce when it starts to go into like the, you know, gross animal the product area. area. The morgue. Yes. There is like a standing, like rotating shelf thingy and it's got clearance stuff all over it and huh. there are always vegan options always I know that. That's there's I'm also vegan it. vitamins in there i saw like my my favorite brand which i don't know the name of but i can i know the brand <laughs> and the brand color of the box i have a favorite brand of vegan vitamins shut up <laughs> but i think it's your favorite brand you don't you don't remember what it's called like it's my favorite no one. i don't i know a color like i can tell you what the box looks like it's my favorite brand. It. what's her name i don't know it's like, <laughs> I don't but know it goes dun, 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 but dun, uh, they, they're, they have a really yummy vitamin d it's great d3 whatever um anyway so check the little clearance section out because there's always like little hidden gems there um that help with that whole that. paycheck part of this visit to whole foods <laughs> okay so let's start uh kind of near the front when you first walk in we could talk about produce all day but i'm that's i don't that's even easy. mention this in my notes because that's just like duh they have the best it's the freshest it's beautiful yeah. but so does sprouts their stuff is just as great and it's a lot cheaper so i'm just saying either one totally fine high five um <laughs> while you're in the produce area look for the juices and the little shots i love them so much those are like the yummiest freshest juices and my favorite um is what is their mother's nature or whatever that one is it's got i like any drink that has beets in it and oh it ha- yes, yes oh it's so good i, talking about, I can't remember i know i know what you're talking <laughs> about i can't remember it either but yeah and then they have their immunity shots which you were the first person to tell me about yeah. shots at whole foods almost killed me one time yeah <laughs> it's got like cayenne and ginger and wheatgrass on that. Yeah. It, 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 and it, lemon. Yep. It'll knock out what ails you. Uh, sometimes they'll put like uh, jalapeno in it too. Oh my gosh. But yeah. it'll, it'll knock out what ails you. It'll, it, I it, went it, it to one. It you from the inside. Is what this. <laughs> I went to one Whole Foods and they put wheatgrass in it. And I yeah. wasn't even really paying attention. I just took it from her and I... I really should have been looking because I was like, whoa, <laughs> that is not the taste I was expecting, but yeah. just as good. So there's a bunch that you can you can get pre-made in the little juice section. Um, the immunity ones, like I said, they have like pure vitamin C, like orange juice and stuff like that. So 
always check that little section out. What's really cool is a lot of times though, like especially um, um, I like look at a wild hair, and the person who makes it will like make their own concoction for the day or for the week. So you go over there and they'll be like kitchen sink. It's like a that's like fifty things are in it. Or they'll do like <laughs> apple pie, which has like orange juice and apples and cinnamon and a bunch of other stuff Ooh. in it. So if you, if you go over there and look and try to find the ones that are unique, and usually the ones that are unique are written on with a sharpie. They have like a blank label. They have things checked off and written on. Those are the ones that are like made in house that are unique. Those those are really really cool. I find. love their juices. Now I'm going to crave find. one. And their juices are do, do you use a masticating machine as opposed to um, a, a centrifuge? So you're going to it's also cold press, so it doesn't damage the uh, the micronutrients in it. So you're actually going to get a higher quality juice from it anyway. That's like one of the nerdiest sentences you've ever said. <laughs> that I'm was like, that was the nerdiest what one. What is that he was... talking about? Yeah. Okay. Because there's two different types of juicing. There's masticating, and then there's which is like grinding. And okay. then there's centrifuge, which is basically what which most standard household juicers are. It's like it spins and goes right, and mm-hmm. it basically just purees it and separates the pulp from the juices. Um, but this one, the, the masticating ones, it comes out with like this like dry husks of stuff on the other side. It's and the mm-hmm. dry, of course, the more dry the better. Um, and uh, but there, all of theirs are like that, so it's gonna the, and also it's cold press. So it doesn't heat the juices up when it's actually pressing them. So you're gonna you're gonna get higher quality and a higher uh, nutrient level because things like vitamin C are uh, get damaged mm-hmm. when being heated. That's why if you cook bell, bell peppers, you should cook them at a low heat for a short amount of time. If you ever cook bell peppers, you damage the vitamin C that you're gonna get out of them. Good grief! <laughs> Good freaking grief! <laughs> this guy. I just stuff you know. Oh, so full of knowledge. <laughs> I, have, I have my moment. I should share your phone number with everyone. Hey, so hey, they hey. Questions. <laughs> bring down. Any questions? Just ask David. <laughs> I'll change my phone. I've had this phone number forever. I don't want to change it. Oh, it suck. <laughs> oh, okay. So while you're in the produce area, go near the salad dressings. And now you can get this brand every, not everywhere, but a lot of places. Um, look for the follow your heart salad dressing. Mm-hmm. The reason I mention this in the Whole Foods episode is because I can always find this salad dressing and i can always find a wide variety that i just can't find at other places i don't even think sprouts carries this brand i think they might they might, they might have a uh, like an exclusive deal with them right now or something because i can't find follow your heart anywhere else i can't find it at Publix, at kroger at sprouts nothing i you know i, I mm-hmm. only find it at whole foods so that's that's why if i go there if i'm going like i'm gonna get some chips like i'm also gonna get a good salad dressing while i'm there yes yeah <laughs> yes it's going to be uh, the honey mustard and the Straight ranch up. for me. Yep. Absolutely. And I, I, I tried because my, my favorite dressing growing up was Thousand Island. Ooh. Uh, so then they, they follow your heart came out with a thousand. I don't know if it's new or they just started carrying it, but uh, they came out had a thousand Island vegan option. Um, so that's actually really good. It's it's OK. Um, it's strong. It's got some flavor <laughs> to it, um, but it's really good on like like veggie burgers and sandwiches and stuff. Uh, for me, it's not a little too thick for, and that's true. I think a thousand island dressing is a thick dressing anyway. Um, but it's good for like burgers and stuff. I find. But I was gonna uh, say, isn't that kind of like the Big Mac sauce? Yeah, it's. I think Big Mac sauce is that, and they mix like something else with it. But yeah, it's like right. I think I think they put like mayonnaise in it and kind of make it creamier. Um, <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, thousand island, the thousand island is actually pretty good. And I just and had, I just tried the blue cheese too. Did we try the the blue cheese one? Yep, I got the blue cheese. This, that's a new one, I believe. I think it has like new on the label. I got I got that one. We tried it the other day at our Fourth of July celebration, boop, boop. which you'll hear about <laughs> soon. Um, <laughs> but uh, I got that. I use that today in my. I make a little quick kale salad today. And I use that. So. Yeah, it was pretty good. I liked it. So there yeah. hasn't been a i even like this the caesar one there hasn't been a salad dressing from follow your heart that i didn't like so Tried highly true. recommend buy multiple because again they're, apparently they're super hard to find um the next on my list is something that david likes but he didn't put a little star next to it back to nature crackers you have brought them over to my house before. I like them. I like them. I just, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't start because like it wasn't stuff that can, you can find exclusively at Whole Foods that much. You can oh, find that's other places. true. That's true. Um, um, but I do like them. Yeah. I like it there because, oh, I put it one away from my microphone. You can do that, man. <laughs> that's my audio up. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I like that the selection at Whole Foods for this brand because yeah. again, 
they have like more of a variety that I can't find at my little sprouts near my house. So like they had the vegan cheese, like cheese it's almost. Oh and yes, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I can't find that here. And I can't always find the ones I just get the whole wheat crackers. Like they're almost like Ritz crackers. Oh, they're so good. They're perfect. They're just they're really great crackers and they say you know that they're vegan on the box so definitely Big check easier. them out um we tried the next one over the weekend also at our little fourth of july get together is, <laughs> is did i spell this right the upton yes yes okay because during our get together i kept calling it uptown but that's yeah, not right i did too. yeah it's upton yeah <laughs> It just my brain it's, was like, no, it's this town. It's like the so old school Upton. packaging with the guy with the mustaches yes. and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And we got the mac and cheese. It was okay. It was like, yeah. well, I, think, I gave it a three. I, I, I don't know if you've done that box Daya <laughs> mac and cheeses, but I think they're better. Um, I know you're not a Daya fan, but their mac and their mac and cheese is if it seasons a lot better. It was okay. I'll try it. I think I think it was a little too under seasoned. I think maybe if you mm-hmm. treat like a base and you like Add like your own spices to it, and maybe it's good. But I mean, it wasn't bad. I ate my night the rest of it. I was like, "You eat this?" Rah, 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 yeah, you rah. did. <laughs> but I, I mean, will say the pasta was shaped like a rainbow, and that was kind of cute. That was cute. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> it, uh, it was good. I, I probably I probably wouldn't get it myself. So maybe after now that I've had it, so I appreciate you letting me try that out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, I think if I was to buy, if I had to buy a pre-made mac and cheese for myself, I'd probably do the daya. Okay, well, I'm going to have to try it now. Maybe, ooh, do we need to do a mac and cheese ooh. episode? Ooh. Oh, there you go. Put that I think gallon. that would be a good one because there's a, quite a few options nowadays. So, ooh, yeah. exciting. Um. Okay, so I put Beyond Meatballs on here because, again, I cannot find them at my sprouts. They only have, like, you know, the meat or the sausages, which is great and all, but I like their meatballs. Um. So I put that on there. I also want to mention that they, I think... Whole Foods has their own vegan meat now. Am I wrong? I feel um, like they might. Th- There's something that looks like their brand there, I th- but I can't I think remember. they do. I think they do. Yeah, but I haven't tried it. We need to do a burger episode, you know, too. Yeah, we also haven't have a uh, have an outsider who wants to be on that episode. They've already mentioned it. Nathan. Oh, he did. He yeah, did. He's like, I'll be on that episode with you guys. I was like, all right. And he could be the non-vegan. You're right. Yeah. We did talk about that. Okay. Yeah, he was he was he was a little mouth water and happened to. So <laughs> we will definitely have to do that one for sure. Um, I'm going to skip over the bakery part for now because we're just going to go off in that section. I think when we talk about it, All right. I will mention one thing and then I'm going to let you talk about one of your stuff. But All right. we also tried another thing from this list, which is so funny that three of my Whole Foods items we tried over the weekend. Yeah. Um, we tried the parmella creamery american cheese i'm assuming that i said that correctly yeah. um i love it i think it, it was melts good. beautifully like literally melted on the burger which some of the other cheeses don't don't they just don't they like fight it <laughs> they're, they're, they're more, they're, a lot of them are like they 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 turn almost plasticky they kind of curl mm-hmm. up or they burn on the ends i'm like okay yeah. Um, yeah this one was great it went like down the sides and everything it was so nice but we both did like get a little bit weirded out by the texture of it and the look of it before like when it's just raw it looks weird I don't know how to say it dry yeah powdery yeah it, it, it it definitely had a um had a uh yeah the texture it wasn't it wasn't glossy know. it wasn't like slick and nice no it just didn't look like a normal cheese which but, I, I guess it shouldn't because it's not was um, cashew but, based too so with that that that's that's help, true, that's helps true. helps with them it probably just fakes the look the non-cooked look but it really helps with the melt factor yeah if you don't really like if you ignore the kind of strangeness of the look of it um, it is actually really good raw too, because I had it with some crackers the other day. I, so. I should have tried it real quick when I was there raw, because that's my big deal. If you can eat, you eat cheese raw, then it's it's good. It's kind of mm-hmm. kind of like if you drink if you could drink drink your coffee black, it's good coffee. Okay, says David. <laughs> Doesn't say Megan. <laughs> um, also, I got the three sixty five Gouda, so one more cheese that I wanted to talk about. Um, that's their brand, right? Yes. And the Gouda. Is great. 
it's I'm, it's really good it makes me think of just, the smoked gouda from um is it chow would you would you would you say it's gouda than chow oh man yeah sure sure david i would <laughs> <laughs> you kill me <laughs> is it bad or is it gouda oh my okay 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 now you talk about one of yours, you big goof. <laughs> um, are we talking about cheeses? All right, so here's here's and this is my go-to when I'm in some snack situation. Is uh, I love their trail mixes. Okay. They have, they have a wide variety of trail mixes. You gotta be careful because some of them have like chocolate in it that has dairy. Uh, but my go-to is the Kahuna Crunch. I love me some pineapple. Ooh, is that like dried pineapple, yeah. dried mango kind of thing? No, it's just Ooh. dried pineapple, and it's got like um, like almonds and cashews, and uh, it's got a, it's got another. But I like it for the pineapple. It's got pistachios, and I think and it's basically very tropical, kind of macadamia nut and that sort of thing in it. So that's my go to. Nice. Um, the other one is uh, is there's a there's a bat as it's called Bat Country is my other one I like. That's because I, I couldn't find Kahuna. Actually, I have it an empty back of it right here. Yeah, backcountry bundle. It's right there. I got it on my desk. I finished <laughs> off today. Um, and uh, yeah, this one is uh, almonds, pistachios, raisins, uh, cranberries, and sour cherry. Nice. Um, so my go-to is either use a Kahuna Crunch if they're out. I'll grab the um, uh, the backcountry. But if you haven't had a chance to tr- try try to try their trail mixes, the pricing isn't bad for trail mix because trail mix tends to be expensive because it's a usually it's like mm. high quality nuts and you know dried fruits. Trail mix is expensive anyway, especially you want a good quality one. But for they're actually decently priced for what they are. They're like six, seven bucks for like a big bag of it, uh, and they're well, very well put together. There's a lot of really good flavors of them. So, and they they have sweet ones. They have savory. They have like this one's a little more sour because the cranberries and the right and, the, and, that sort of, and, the, and the cherries and stuff. Um, but trail mix, that's my. I love going there for the trail mix. Whenever I want, like, when I'm snacky and I don't want a bar, Whole Foods trail mix section. Immediately, good, good fats, nice. good proteins, good, good. And they usually come in like big quantities too. Yeah, so this was a you get a lot. Yeah, this is a fourteen ounce bag. I think it was like six bucks, which is really good for a trail mix. That is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you ever had the beehive? No, you did. You, you, were supposed, you were supposed to tell me about the beehive. You I've had did. them once before. You were talking about them. So. I know. I had them once before. You bitch. And then I got them again this time. So I'm going to try them. Um, I, I had them frozen. So now I'm going to try them out and see how it goes. But um, I think the first time I made them, I cooked them too long because they're kind of thin, you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. And like, I don't know why my brain was like, cook them like really hard. <laughs> like, it didn't need to be that intense. <laughs> and I think I did too much. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit less this time, but the flavor is really, really good. So, yeah. you know, I, I, I'm not like, it's not always my favorite protein to go for, but um, I really like these. I like the way it gets packaged, you know? I'm yeah. a marketing girl. That's what I do for a living. And they package it like a like a butcher block kind of thing with like the, the paper and stuff. And I'm like, it's so fancy. It's like all tucked together and stuff. I don't know. I just love the way it's presented. Um, I really like that it feels like it's high quality. You know, it's it's really, I really like it. So, good brand. I want to try more stuff. You know what? <clears throat> I want to try more of their try stuff. stuff. Okay. You kind of, you, you had to, you turn robot in there for two seconds. The beauty, beauty of recording Ooh, over there. I like that. Right? I'd be a great robot. You really would be. <laughs> oh, I always tell people I need to clone myself. So, I mean, close I enough. Agree. I that, that, way, that way you can rest when your clone could do everything for you, right? Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> you Knowing me, I'd probably just get double the stuff done because I can't sit down. <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah you trust know. me. I know that feeling. That's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> um, when I do sit down. Look at that cheesy segue. Uh, um, no, I saw these little tiny um, containers of ice cream. Kind of like, you know, Ben and Jerry's has the little minis, the little like, you want to try yeah. the little tiny baby? Almost like if you want to see if you like the flavor. Uh, the the, the they, single serve kind of thing? Yeah. Oh, that's that's what it's called. I was like, what do I, how do I say this? I'll, I'll try to trust you if you get there, but you know, you didn't. <laughs> I couldn't do out. it. Couldn't do it. Um, so they're the cool house has little, um, single serve ice cream containers and they're delicious. I got two flavors and I legit don't know if I have it. Let me look, let me look. 
oh, oh, I got a strawberry one that I liked. And then I got a vanilla one. So like kind of basic flavors, but they were really good, creamy. Um, I like that I got the little ones so that I wasn't a bad girl and eat the whole entire <laughs> container as I would. <laughs> the giant spoon. But I, <laughs> I mean, it's I can't control myself. But I was bad and I got one of their ice cream sandwiches, which good Lord. Oh, yeah. Good Lord. I've I had can't. their ice cream before, but I don't think I've had the ice cream sandwich. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. I probably won't buy it again, though, because I like inhaled it. It was too good. <laughs> too good. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, and I think like a lot of their kind of sweet snacky things that mm -hmm. I like. Um, I love cookies. So I'm drawn to that section of Whole Foods, but their choices are almost a little overwhelming for me. Yeah. So, you know, like each time you go there, you could pick a totally different brand and like you could try something different all the time. It's just it's a little overwhelming. So I tried the partake birthday cake cookies. I got that flavor because my daughter loves birthday cake. So I never had those. Um, I don't know those even existed. That's new. I didn't either. Again, it's just like a random brand. I was like, well, those look good. They look small. So I, maybe I won't eat like all of them. Maybe <laughs> just like two. I don't know. But I ate them all. It's like, it's like, it's like well, they're half the size. So I can eat twice as many. That's oh, not how. Man. <laughs> how like so serving sizes work but sure that's how i my my i have a um you know a large tushy because i love cookies <laughs> that's my saying <laughs> there's a like, there's an episode of hey arnold where um uh i think harold not harold Anyway, I love the, that you're referencing Hey Arnold. Harold, the, 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 the larger kid, I can't remember his name. That's not Harold because Harold is Harold's a black oh, friend. Uh, the, the fat kid. He, um, <sighs> he was trying to lose weight. And so he was eating I, I, like low fat ice cream, like ice cream bars. But he was eating twice as many. And Arnold's <laughs> like, you're eating the same thing. Like, <laughs> yep. if, you're eating, if, if you usually eat eight or like four normal <laughs> ice creams, but you eat eight half fat ice creams, Eating the same thing and he starts crying. He gets but, yeah. sad. It's like, but it's it's less. Like, no, it's the same. It's the same. I'm a bad but, girl. No, you're fine. Just, I just think it's And you I, referenced I just, Hey Arnold, which makes me love you more. Bro, I had Dang a brownie it. today, so I can't talk shit. <laughs> yes. I love when you have sweets during the week. I it know. makes me happy. It was, it, was a, it was it was a fun day. I had I had a long meeting that messed me up today, so I was like, I'm well, having a brownie. I mean, Screw it. You deserve a brownie after that. That's right. intense. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> the back to nature crackers. They actually also they also make cookies, which are good too. Really? Yeah, they make they make they make they make like or the version of Oreos. They make sandwich ones. They also make mint chocolate ones. They're really good. How did I not know that? I don't know, they're really good. I've actually it's one of the few like box cookies I've actually had like as being a vegan because mm -hmm. I usually avoid like or mm -hmm. Oreos are vegan, but like something about them like gives me a stomach ache sometimes. Um, I had an Oreo cake once and I was, I felt terrible. Um, it was from a vegan restaurant. So I know it was like, it was vegan, but, uh, something about it just didn't sit well. Um, but, uh, their stuff's really, really good. And their, their mint chocolate ones are really good. I wonder if it's like too sweet for like regular Oreos. Maybe it is. I don't know. Cause it was like, I was like, Oh, it's an Oreo vegan cake. I'm like, sweet. And it's like, yeah, it's not feel good. <laughs> well, you were you were you were talking about the uh, the whipped the whipped topping. Yes, the three sixty five non dairy whipped topping. So like whipped cream, kind of cool whip kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, I miss that. And what the brand that comes out during like Thanksgiving is not always out. Do you know what I'm talking about? There's like a a vegan cool whip you can get at like Sprouts. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But it only comes out during Thanksgiving when everybody has like pumpkin pie and crap. Like you just, I could never find it. So when I saw that Whole Foods has their own brand of it, I just snatched that crap up. So I just put a bunch of like berries, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries all in one bowl. And then I put like a big old dollop of the cool and it's like, mm, yummy. <laughs> so easily entertained <laughs> you are but so am i okay i'm just i'm, I, honestly, I'm just getting joy out of watching your entertainment at this point <laughs> <laughs> well let's just move on to the freaking bakery and talk about all of our favorite crap there i'm getting hungry i dude. have so many things in the bakery at whole foods i feel like that's like that's the shining star of the entire store yeah absolutely 
Yeah, it's, I, I, I usually just go up there and walk around like, no, I'd be good, I'd be good, I'd be good. <laughs> um, like my my favorite thing I was finding over there that's hard to find the vegan version of is their their triple berry pie. Oh, Bro, oh so my god, good. <laughs> it's got it's just got the blueberries and the raspberries and the strawberries and it's like all all of the berries. It's like sweet and it's like sour and it's got it's mm-hmm. tangy. And they put the the sugary stuff on top, make it all crunchy but also sweet. It's it's it's, it's one of their favorite, <laughs> my favorite pies. I didn't make it for a while and I found it a few couple years ago. They actually had it uh, out this year from the 4th of July, but they didn't have a vegan version out. So <sighs> had to so go get the pie, which when you go get the pies, <laughs> double check them. Cause even though labeled vegan, look at the ingredients. Cause like the apple pie is normally accidentally vegan. And sometimes they have one that's like labeled vegan, yeah. but, but I mean, if they don't, like David said, the regular one works too. Yeah. So I've compared the ingredients and they're identical. That's so weird. It's weird. I don't know. <laughs> Have you looked at the ingredients of the triple berry? Yeah, triple berry has um, the egg. I think they look an egg wash on it. Oh, man. Yeah. Fine. Why they got to ruin everything? Um, <laughs> they make amazing cookies. The chocolate chip cookies, I, I almost can't get them. They're almost too good. Again, <laughs> I have a problem with sugary things, but the chocolate ones and my husband loves the oatmeal raisin yes we not as detailed i usually only find the chocolate chip ones yeah <laughs> i was gonna say the oatmeal raisin ones i usually go with the oatmeal raisin or peanut butter oh yes the peanut butter ones are super good but oatmeal raisin is my jam though and yeah yeah raisins yes. going raisins going oatmeal cookies i don't want to hear anybody messaging me they belong in there i agree delicious. i agree that's right <laughs> that's a stance we have right. I, will, I will die <laughs> on that hill <laughs> um they also make vegan donuts okay they used to make a variety pack now they have them all separated, yeah, separated and it's out. making me mad they so they you. used to have like vanilla chocolate and like a berry one yeah all in the like blueberry. a thing together and i'm like oh my god i can have all of them then when i went last time it was like all of one flavor mm-hmm. no well they, 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 they also my variety back they also have a uh, maple one too Oh yes, I forget about the maple one. It's, I don't they have know vanilla, why. chocolate. Mm, that's a good one. Vanilla, chocolate, blueberry, and maple. Blueberry, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. really good. So very like um, almost cake like because they're really thick. Mm-hmm. You know, they're not like a fluffy donut. They're like a thick. They're a good. They're a good coffee. Um, Duncan. all right. Let. Oh my gosh, yes, the vanilla one and coffee. Ooh, yes. Straight up. Crap. I have to go back to the office soon and <laughs> I'm going to be close to the Whole Foods. And now we've been talking about donuts. <laughs> I blame you. you. Say, it's you, all your fault, David. You, you missed any pictures of donuts? Like, oh, you. <laughs> it is all your fault. Most things are. That's fair. <laughs> I only have like a few like little ones to talk about and then we'll be about that. Um, my favorite hummus is by the brand Roots. Uh, first time I found them was at the Atlanta Veg Fest. The first one I went to, which was like, I don't know, what's what is 2018, something like that. Something like um, that. They were handing out entire containers of yeah. hummus, not like little samples. It was like, here, take the whole container. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> yes, I remember that so, one too. I remember that one. Yeah, because you were next to me, I think, and you were like, oh, I really want two flavors. <laughs> and I, we were like, we couldn't decide which ones we wanted. <laughs> they only have them at at public, or I mean, at Whole Foods. Yeah. They they say they're at Publix sometimes. I've, I've seen like them where? at their Publixes, but not in Publix that I have ever been to. So only at Whole Foods. When I go there, I get the mango sriracha mm-hmm. and the black bean, both of them. So good. The black, They're black my bean favorite really hummus good. in the whole world. Yeah, mm-hmm. and the black bean's really good. I, I like, I like, I don't think I've done the mango one though, but then the black bean, I did the black bean meaning for dip. I usually use, I like using um, a hummus for like uh, pasta. Mm-hmm. So as like a pasta sauce to kind of flavor yeah. it that way. So I, have, I haven't used roots that are flavored ones for um, pastas and like other and things other than just chips and crackers. Right. I think they even have one that made out of lima beans, which is like just they, not the hummus you normally see, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. I think that I, yeah, I think that. lima bean one. That'd be I'd be interesting to try. 
Oh, homeless episode. There you go. <laughs> oh my God. That would be difficult. They're all so good. So tasty. So good. Oh man, that would be hard. Um, we'll talk about the tempe. So if a favorite, I don't know why it just is. It feels like, I don't know, like heartier, earthier to me. I really like it. Um, I can't find it always at my sprouts. Again, I just put things on here that I can at other places. And if I can't find them at other places, then there's got to be people listening that can't either. So um, look for that brand. They have a lot of like burgers and I had their meatballs tonight, made spaghetti for the fam. I was pretty I, good. For some reason, I don't know why, but the, the for me, the three grain is always the hardest to find. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, usually, I usually find the Whole Foods, but even then it's usually out. So I have to get the plain one, which I actually probably prefer the three grain. It's a little, I can, it's a little nuttier, a little heartier mm -hmm. um, than the than the typical uh, tempeh. And then they also make a really good um, uh, bacon. The, tempeh, the tempeh bacon is my favorite. Oh my God, yes, they do. My, that, that's my favorite. It's the best one that I've had. Ooh, we could do a vegan bacon one. Man, we were just having all kinds of episode ideas. You guys are hearing oh it my first. Gosh, here, here first. <laughs> all the all the episode ideas just coming out. <laughs> so my last product. Is one that I bought and I did not get to try. It's still in my freezer only because I haven't thrown it out yet. It was recalled the just egg like patties or whatever. What? I saw something on the, I think it was the vegan Atlanta group or somewhere. And it was like this brand, this um, specific just egg brand or uh, product from a certain time period is recalled because I think there's like real egg in it. There's like egg white or something, or there could possibly be egg white have be in it. And I looked and sure enough, mine is within what? those days. And I was like, dang, at least I saw that though. Cause I would have been really pissed then. Holy uh, I love that. That's crazy. Yeah. Isn't that weird? So yeah, I saw that and was very bummed. So didn't get to try it, but next time maybe now I'm going to be yeah. scared. <laughs> 80,632 boxes of the popular just egg product were um, just, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, uh, it's the uh, just egg bites. Yes, that's what I got. Yes, that's what they were called. Okay. I knew it wasn't patties. Yeah, it was just It was the, like, they look like the little, like, little egg bites that you get at, like, Starbucks thingies. Yeah. Yeah. Bites. Remember, the two pouch packages may have been, may have an incorrect sealed pouch containing a whole egg or milk products. <laughs> yeah so gross yeah holy crap that's crazy yeah so kind of bummed about that but i'll give them another try we'll see yeah we'll see yeah i like I, I, well i like their patty ones because you can put them in the toaster yeah that's i was looking I forward yeah. to it <laughs> yeah they're really good put them in the toaster and they uh and you can have a little sandwich oh, i'm jealous i'm gonna do this Maybe weekend next man time. Make, some, make some uh like uh vegan bacon egg like sandwiches like the old mcdonald's style ones I haven't done that in forever you need to order from flower and time and Ooh, get their biscuits i do to I put do. it on because they make the best biscuits best vegan biscuits in atlanta from flower and time and she delivers not to my area but that's fine yeah you know what you're gonna do I was so sad. I put in like a fifty dollar order and I still couldn't get it. <laughs> Whatever, <Right. laughs> it's fine. Okay, so we've given you all of our favorite Whole Foods products, um, the things we go for, some things we've tried recently, um, our must haves like stuff from the bakery. Um, we are going to make this a series, so you're going to see some episodes every few weeks where we talk about a different location where you can find different vegan products so i think the next one we're going to do is costco so if you guys have any recommendations let us know what we should be looking out for so we can give you guys our favorite costco products yep if there's any if there's any non-regional stores you would like us to look into let us know uh if it's like you know like like there's a place called seven under near us and you're not gonna find one near you um because the only one spot in the whole world and that's over in atlanta but um, if there's like a, a, a national chain or something we can find locally in Georgia that uh, you have near you, you like us to check out, let us know. Yes, please. And if you have any specific products too. And where can you let us know? Well, you can find us on Instagram and Facebook at The Average Vegans, or you can email us at theaveragevegans at gmail.com. 
And of course, you can find this podcast and all of our other episodes at Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Pocket Cast, or anywhere else you get your podcast fix. Please make sure to leave a review, recommend this to everybody you know, um, especially, you know, vegetarians, upcoming vegans. You never know. Let everybody know Bring about them us. In the fold. <laughs> That's right. If you want to see show notes, links, and more, you can be found at theaveragevegans.com. And of course, again, we want to hear from you. Where should we shop next? What kind of products should we look for? If you have any episode suggestions, let us know. And that is it for this week. All right. Well, until next time. Bye, guys. Bye.